Hey, you've tuned into math with Mr. C. Now, 7 3, adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, specifically unlike. Once your name and your date is written with the title, we're moving on in 3, 2, 1. Please check your homework correcting answers that are incorrect. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. Let's zoom in on our first example. Adding and subtracting unlike denominators. How can you add fractions with unlike denominators? Abby and Faith each had cereal for breakfast. Abby ate a half cup of cereal, one divided by two cup of cereal, and Faith ate one third cup of cereal. How much cereal did they eat all together? All together tells me I'm gonna add them, so add the fractional parts. In previous lessons, we had fractions like this, where the denominators were already the same. Now we're in a situation where the denominators are not the same, and we must make them the same, which is the whole reason why we went through the lesson yesterday of least common multiple, so that we can find a multiple of the denominators easily. So step one. So step one is we're going to add one half plus one third. To add fractions with different or unlike denominators, we need to find a common denominator, which is basically the same thing as common multiple. The least common multiple of the denominators is just, we like to come up with uh, little three-letter sayings here, but a least common denominator. Exactly the same as the multiple, we just replaced it with the word denominator because it's the bottom number. So let's go through our steps of finding the least common multiple. We make a list of multiples. We found that 6 was the same in list of multiples of 2 and multiples of 3. Therefore, the LCM is 6, so we can make it uh, so that the denominator on both can equal 6. So how do I make it so this fraction has 6 on the bottom, and how do I make it so f the fraction has 6 on the bottom? Alright, so we have our fraction of 1 half and our fraction of 1 third, and we know that we're adding them together. We found that 2 and 3 can both multiply to 6. So we're thinking, what do I need to multiply 2 by so that 6 is on the bottom? Oh, well, 2 times 3 is 6, so we need to multiply the top by the same number. So we multiply by 3 over 3. So 1 half is equal to 3 sixths. We did the same with 1 third. I know that it's going to equal 6, so what do I multiply 3 by so that there will be 6 on the bottom? We need to multiply that by 2 over 2, so then we have 2 sixths. These are equivalent fractions right here. As seen in the visual, 1 half is equivalent the same size as 3 6. 1 third is the same size as 2 6. We just put it um, to make it look different so that we can add it because we cannot add them unless they have common denominators. With a clue so word of Alfredo common denominators. What's our last step? <coughs> then we add. We're going to simplify if possible. We know that when we add, we add the top numbers. 3 plus 2 is 5. We keep the bottom numbers the same. 5 6. Abby and Faith ate a total of 5 6 cups of cereal. I cannot simplify this, so that's my answer. Here are your vocab notes. Please grab a copy that has been printed for you, and please tape or paste it into your notes you choose. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so here's example 1, and we're specifically subtracting here. How can you subtract fractions with unlike denominators? Find 1 3rd minus 1 4th. I circled it because you need to write that down. So we know that our previous lesson, we did LCM, and we know that we're going to use that skill to find the least common multiple of 3 and 4 so that we can make the denominators like denominators instead of unlike. So we're making these lists of the multiples of 3 and the multiples of 4. As we make these multiples, the first one that is like or the least common multiple is 12. So, we're going to make the denominator 12. And I want you to think for a second, what do you predict we're going to multiply 1 third by so that 12 is the denominator? Well, we're going to multiply 1 third by 4 over 4, so that 12 is on the bottom. And which would make 1 times 4, 4 on the top. And here's a visual of what that is. 1 third is also equal to 4 twelfths. And now I want to think, what do we predict we're going to multiply 1 fourth by so that 12 is also on the bottom? 
we're going to multiply that by 3 over 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. That's how I knew I multiplied by 3 over 3. 1 times 3 is 3. Now I'm thinking, what do I do with these now 4 thirds and 3 twelfths? I'm going to look back at the original problem. I see I subtract them. Our last step is to subtract. Simplify if possible. When I subtract 4 twelfths minus 3 twelfths, I get 1 twelfth. I can't simplify that. So the difference, or the answer of a subtraction problem, is 1 twelfth. Please make sure that if it's circled in red pen on this screen, you have it written in example 1. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. Here's example 2. Notice how for example 1, all that we want you to do is to find the least common denominator of 3 fourths and 2 fifths. That's all we're doing. And then for the next one, you are finding the sum or difference of this, which would mean that you would need to find the LCM, make both of them have like denominators, and then actually subtract. The answers are coming in 3, 2, 1. For the first one, I made a list, and I found that our least common denominator or multiple would be 20. For number 2, I started by wanting to find a least common denominator, therefore I made a list, and I saw that 8 is the least common denominator. Therefore, I know that 5 eighths is already good to go because it has 8 as the denominator. But I need, do need to multiply 1 half by something so that 8 is on the bottom. And that will be 4 over 4, so we get 4 eighths. 2 times 4 is 8, so I knew I needed to multiply the top number by the same number as well, which is 4. So there's my problem with my answer. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. Here are your four numbers for independent or partner's practice. When you're ready for the answers, you'll unpause the video. In 3, 2, 1. All right, and so here are your answers for independent or partner's practice. I want to zoom in and specifically on 21. If you get done making this list here, and you have the least common multiple, and you're like, you know, I don't actually want to do the work again to find out 12 times what is 60, such as here, 12 times... What is 60? Well, you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, okay, 5 over 5. Likewise with 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 5, 6 times 6 over 6. You just count again in your list. So you can check your answer for 21. And moving on to 20. Please check your answer for 20. And moving on for 23. And then moving on to 24. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you learned a lot. Please choose one of these three options at the bottom. And please don't forget you're awesome.